Hey guys, Jess here with your look at the week in entertainment. It's time for some wood. Today's Spy Hunter goes to Zombieland. The Mummy reboot has its director, and could a Planet Hulk movie be in the works? All that plus this weekend's new releases. Spy Hunter is finally getting a movie adaptation. Zombieland director Ruben Fleischer has joined the project as Helmer and executive producer. That said, little else is known about the movie, which is of course based on the beloved Midway game. There's been talk about a Spy Hunter film for years, with people like The Rock and Resident Evil director Paul W.S. Anderson attached. Sometimes things are worth the wait. And speaking of waiting, or not waiting actually, The Mummy is getting a reboot. Heat Vision reports that Underworld director Len Weissman will helm Universal's reimagining of its previous reimagining of the classic movie. John Spates, who co-wrote Prometheus, is scripting, and Alex Kurtzman and Roberto Orsi of Star Trek and Transformers fame are producing. No word yet on the film's cast or plot, though we do know that it will take place in the modern era, and it'll have mummies. And over in the realm of superheroes, it looks like the ever-loving Hulk could eventually get another try at a solo movie. When asked about Mark Ruffalo's Hulk and his spin-off film possibilities, Marvel Studios boss Kevin Feige teased that Planet Hulk and World War Hulk are cool stories. Comic fans recall that these epic tales sent the Green One into outer space, and considering that Marvel's movieverse is getting increasingly cosmic, it all kind of makes sense, doesn't it? That said, Feige cautions that we shouldn't expect any Hulk solo action until after Avengers 2. This weekend, the animated monster fest, Hotel Transylvania, arrives from Samurai Jack creator Gendy Tartakovsky. James Purefoy stars as the classic pulp character Solomon Kane in limited release, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Bruce Willis play the same character from different time periods in the great new time travel flick, Looper. There aren't really good guys and bad guys in Looper. As fun as it can sometimes be to, you know, root for the hero and root against the villain, real life isn't like that. I don't think any human being on the planet is all good or all bad, everyone's some shade of gray. And Looper reflects that reality, and um, it is. It's a bit more of a nuanced drama than, than uh, maybe your typical sci-fi action flick. And that's your Weekly Wood. I'm Jessica Chobot. Make sure you like the wood, and don't forget to get all of your trailers, news, and gossip right here at IGN.com.